Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. In this video, we go through the most recent leaks found within the latest 3.8.2b build. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members. If you do enjoy my content and find it useful, and would like to help support the channel even further, it is all very much appreciated. Be sure to follow the link to the Patreon page below. Also, if you want to keep up with all the links as they happen, follow the link to the Star Citizen Leaks Discord, also linked in the description below. So we have a few leaks from the 382B build, which delve into a bit more of the medical gameplay coming, mining consumables and more. We will start with the non-specific tidbits and then move on to the good stuff. Firstly, there was a little bit of text which refers to an oxygen dispenser, which I think is likely just for prisons, uh, but it would be great to have oxygen points in ships as well for maybe replenishing your suits. But the text is as follows, so it's on the oxygen screen, and it says in order, oxygen is ready to dispense, dispense oxygen, click to use, dispensing oxygen, click to stop, refilling, system empty, please wait, and then user tank is full. Now, as I say, this is likely to do with prison gameplay and refilling the player's oxygen tanks on their suits for when they want to venture deeper into the mines, most likely using our merits that we earn in the prisons to pay for the oxygen. There was some Squadron 42 save and continue system leaks, basically allowing you to save your progress and then select a previous mission or level that you want to play, uh, which was stuff that we see in other games. I know CIG have mentioned that they want us to have the ability to replay old levels. They also said potentially replaying them cooperative with friends, but I don't know if that's still the plan. I think they may have gone away from the whole co-op thing, but I'm not certain there. Now, on to the medical changes. There were some big updates coming uh, in way of medical alerts, obviously to do with the player status. And the blurb says, whether you haven't been sleeping well or experienced a traumatic injury, most modern digital assistants like Mobiglass has capabilities to make staying healthier simpler than ever. By constantly monitoring your key vitals, the software can make preliminary diagnosis and alert you about dozens of afflictions you may be experiencing. These alerts, when used properly, can offer guidance and help you know when to make lifestyle adjustments, administer self-treatment options, or seek assistance from a medical professional. So whatever is happening to you in regards to if you're not eating enough, if you're getting shot or burnt, it sounds like your Mobiglass will ping or make an alert just to let you know something's going wrong. Now here are a few of the more common medical alerts. We have arm trauma, which is an injury to the arm that can cause pain, fatigue and reduced function. Caustic burns, which is typically caused by exposure to hazardous environments or materials. Concussed, which is a mild brain injury that results in temporary loss of cognitive functions. It says early warning signs of concussion are things like double vision, confusion, headache and ringing in the ears. So it sounds like we'll be having the, the blurred vision uh, with that little ringing in the ears if we get punched or, or hit in the head. Uh, dehydrated, when the body does not have enough water to function normally, it says symptoms can include thirst, dry mouth headaches, weariness and blurred vision. Again, if we're not drinking enough water, these will start to be represented in the game. Head trauma, which is an injury to the scalp, skull or brain, which can cause a variety of symptoms such as fatigue, sensory problems, headache and trouble concentrating. Maybe if it's fatigue, it'll reduce your stamina a little bit. Hemorrhage, which is internal or external bleeding. It is recommended that you try to stem the loss of blood as soon as possible. Hyperthermia, which is the body's core temperature rising above self levels uh, and can no longer compensate, leading to, again, fatigue. It says severe headaches, increased thirst and dehydration, so you might require drinking a little more. Hypothermia, which is the body's core temperature dropping to below safe levels. And again, this leads to fatigue, slowed brain and motor functions, shivering, which we've seen will be represented in the game, increased appetite, so the need to eat more, and a risk of paradoxical undressing, whatever the hell that is. Uh, intoxicated, which is exposure to or ingestion of a toxic dose of any substance that can build up to harmful levels within the body and cause neurological symptoms such as thirst, loss of motor skills, impaired vision, headaches, memory loss, and depression. 
leg trauma which is an injury to the leg that can cause pain and decreased mobility malnourished which is when the body isn't getting enough nutrients to function normally again symptoms are hunger so obviously needing to eat a bit more loss of muscle mass hopefully this will i think this will affect the characters later on maybe not for 3.9 but they do have different body types i think is the plan uh, which we saw at citizen con two years ago three years ago exhaustion is another symptom inability to concentrate irritability and sensory complications radiation sickness which is obviously exposure to radioactive material this is extremely hazardous and can cause numerous side effects like macular degeneration respiratory failure this brings difficulty in breathing that results in reduced blood oxygen levels and a buildup of excessive carbon dioxide leading to making it more difficult for muscles to function severe injury which is a general term used to describe when a very serious trauma has been inflicted to the body and it does say requires immediate medical attention sleep deprivation so when an individual gets less sleep than they require to function typical effects of sleep deprivation are moodiness fatigue clumsiness increased appetite and narcoleptic symptoms and then finally unconscious which is when trauma is severe enough an individual may experience loss of consciousness and become unable to respond to stimuli now although these are just referring to the pings that you'll probably have on your moby glass when you are suffering from whatever the symptoms point to i do like to think that sometime in the future when they start developing the doctor's mechanic seeing these symptoms on AI specifically is a way of detecting what is wrong with them and how to treat them. But also, I guess, with players as well, they can say, you know, I've got double vision. I seem to be wanting to drink more or eat more and all that sort of stuff. We'll be able to allow them to treat a patient better. But this is the start of all this. This is obviously 3.9. This is the player status and having lots more different effects that are in the game, like your blurred vision and so forth. So it's going to be very exciting. Uh, mining consumables are next so they now have official names and a consumable is kind of like a one-shot item sort of a sub item that will be placed inside your mining head laser and it will allow you to have buffs and debuffs now the first one is the torpid module which is a charge or a pulse this decreases the charge rate of the deposit by 20 percent allowing the player to be more conservative in their mining efforts and that lasts for 20 seconds the surge mode, which is an explosive charge, this fires a pulse down the length of the beam at the deposit that detonates, increasing the charge level of the deposit by 30%, and that is an instant use. There is the stampede module, which is a fracture charge. Now, this does the same thing as the surge module, but instead of 30%, it has a charge rate of 25%, and that lasts for 10 seconds rather than being instant. We have lifeline module which is a fused deposit this stabilizes the deposit reducing shatter damage by 50 percent when the deposit breaks that lasts for 10 seconds so it's probably going to be useful to use towards the end of when it's about to crack just firing this and making sure that when it does shatter it doesn't destroy everything or spread too far we then have rime module r-i-m-e which is a heat vent and this vents the heat from the deposit reducing the charge levels by 50 percent that is instant the brant module which uh, reduces instability by 50 percent which is good uh, and increases charge rate by 15 making it temporarily easier to mine a deposit and that actually lasts for 30 seconds which is quite a long time when it comes to mining uh, optimum module which is a laser oscillator this consumable increases the optimal charge window so giving you a bigger green area on the current deposit making it safer to mine and that lasts for 15 seconds then you have foral module which is a tremor pulse and this fluctuates the mining laser into a tremor that reduces the resistance of the deposit by 30 percent at the expense of reducing instability dampening by 20 percent so it makes it less resistant for 20 seconds allowing you to mine it easier but the instability will go up which means it could fluctuate a little more but anyway that is the leaks as they are today it's going to be great seeing this medical gameplay expand and learning the different effects and how to aid them. Also, mining as it stands today in 3.8 is really involving. And with these new mining heads and the various attributes they have, combining them with consumables is really going to help expand the mining mechanic more. It already feels like you kind of need a degree to understand everything uh, in terms of mining which i personally think is a great thing this uh, this is the skill-based system that allows those who want to invest the time learning into it 
to prevail on top compared to someone who just randomly mines now and again. This is how all mechanics need to be in the game to really create this skill requirement and I'm so excited that they're doing this with mining. I cannot wait to see how it will work with other mechanics as well. Uh, anyway, the Karak is yet to come to the PTU as of today being Tuesday, so fingers crossed it's either later today or tomorrow that it comes out. But anyway, be sure to hit subscribe for more Star Citizen content. Like the video if you're excited for 3.9. Also, tick that notification bell so you know exactly when all of my videos go live. Follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash Ryan. Come and hang out with us live. Massive thank you to the patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.